We have been waiting for learning permutations. So we learned uh, so far the concept of factorial, the concept of principle of uh, the fundamental principle of countings, and now we are ready to talk about the permutation. So what the heck is this permutation? And it's nothing more than the arrangement. You know, if if you go to the definition, then we define permutation like a permutation is an arrangement in a definite order of n number of object taken some or all at a time. A permutation is an arrangement, all right? It's an arrangement in a definite order of n objects taken some or all at a time. So these five highlighted places you have to understand a little properly. A permutation is an arrangement, all right? It's an arrangement in a definite order, all right? In a in a a, a, a way, all right? In a, in a fixed way of n objects taken some or all at a time, all right? Something like let me give an example. Let's say we have a, b, and c, all right? So total let's say this is n number of uh, objects all right we are going to take only two at one position and then how we can arrange them all right and we're going to take two at a time all right so as i was telling you permutation is just arrangement you know this we're going to arrange this a b c this this n objects uh and by taking some or all at a time we in this case we're just going to take two at a time all right so how much possible uh arrangement we do have so let me write first there all right, so we have n objects for two places. Okay, keep this n objects for two places. So we can arrange like a, b, or we can arrange like a, c, or we can arrange like b, c, or we can arrange like b, a, or we may arrange like uh, c, a, or we may arrange like c, b. Right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are the six ways of arranging a, b, and c into the two places. So this is the total arrangement. So this is the permutation of three objects a b c taken two at a time let me give you one more example let's say uh, i have number one two three and four i have four numbers and we're going to make a three digit number so as i was telling you you know these are the given numbers which are n objects for a while and taken some or all at a time so we're just going to take some uh, one two three only three at a time at once we're going to take three so how many possible ways we have how many possible numbers there are that we can create from these these four four uh, given digits right so we can create like this we can create like one two three we can create one two four we can create one three two we can create one four two all right similarly you know uh, we can create like two four one similarly we can create two one four similarly we can create two three one similarly we can create two one three so in, in, a, in a similar way we know there are a lot of methods so this is just a possible arrangement so all the possible arrangement that we can create from uh, these number one two three four those are called permutations all right just a number of arrangement all right so let me go to the generalization generally you know while solving the problems related to the permutations uh, the total given numbers we always represent by n all right and the places that we need to fill we generally represent by r all right so uh, the same thing i can say that n number of object we are going to fill in r different places differently in how many ways we can fill n number of object in r positions all right and the same thing in mathematical language we say like total permutations of n objects in r places all right total permutations of n objects in r different places or we also write like this p in the bracket n and r right uh, it means like a total uh, arrangement of n different object at r positions and this is equals to actually n factorial divided by n minus r factorial now you might be wondering how i write this formula all right the proof of this formula i will make in the next video i'll, I'll prove it in the next video but just i'm going to show you how how you can use this all right let's say for a while we have three different color boxes let's say this is pink color box and another one is brown color box and another one is red color box and we have to color a flag all right with two different color out of them so what is the total possible way if we solve this question by the fundamental principle of counting then it's something like this like the first first thing you know the first position can be filled by any of the three like we can fill the first first uh, box by pink one also by brown one also or by red one also so there are three options to fill this one and for the second one once we fill this uh, anyone will get occupied let's say we fill this by pink then we have now two options all right so by any of the two we can fill this one we can fill by red also or we can fill by this brown also so to fill this we have two options it means to f to fill the first one we have three 
and to fill the second one we have two it means we have total six ways to fill this uh, this this flag all right but if you go by this method by using formula then total given colors are how many total given colors are three and how many places we need to fill we need you know this is total given places that represents n and the places that we need to fill that is r so, and uh, the two positions we need to fill so directly by the formula you can go and now p n r that is p 3 2 that's going to be now 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial and 3 factorial is actually 3 times 2 times 1 and 3 minus 1 that's 1 factorial all right uh, 1 factorial and 1 you can cancel this and 3 times 2 that is 6 all right so 6 ways from this way also we got 6 and from this way also we get 6 so initially we used to take the help of the fundamental principle of counting and now we don't need them we can directly use the formula all right and in the next video i'm going to show you i'm going to prove you how you can derive this formula right so you must watch that video that is very very important